So why Hot Rod? <laughs> oh, dude. Why not, dude? A seminal film. Uh, I saw it in theaters when I was like in sixth grade, and I was like, this is my favorite movie ever already. Like, I knew immediately. How many times did you see it? I only saw it once in theaters, but I definitely got it on DVD box set for my birthday that year and have probably seen it like 20 times at least. Yeah, it was also very important to me. I saw it the day it came out in theaters, August 3rd, 2007, uh, with my cousin, Michael, who at the time was like, has really curly hair and it was exactly Andy Samberg length. <laughs> so we kept acting like he was Andy Samberg. Like we would be at the concession stand. We'd be like, oh my God, dude, his mo- he's here to see his movie. And people were like, <laughs> people were like what the hell? So, uh, but I love this movie. This is this movie to me is one of those like litmus test movies where if I meet someone for the first time and I ask them if they like this movie and they say yes, I'm like, oh, we're going to be friends. Then. Yeah. Like, yes. This movie's great. Great opening scene. Yeah, dude. Yeah. The physicality of this movie is so fucking good. The stunt driver broke his leg doing. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, oh, yeah, yeah. I read that. It was like one of the first fun facts about the movie, and I was like, "Dude, I didn't even think about that. Like, how many stunt men were probably hurt making that?" <laughs> Dude, yeah. we were talking about that when we were rewatching it the other day. Like, especially the scene where he's like falling down the hill. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's taking some brutal hits for the. But like. It's yeah, that first jump, I said, I was like, dude, a dude had to do that. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. so gnarly. Totally. I'm surprised it. that was a person because it really does look like a rag doll. <laughs> yeah, it it fold onto <laughs> itself. Yeah. It's like the perfect, like, oh, God, it's so goddamn funny. I feel like the physical comedy always ages so well, too. Like, it's yeah. funny no matter what time people period. People getting hurt is always going to rock, dude. Yeah, it's true. I'm always, sign me up for all t- table for two, people getting hurt show. I'm there, bro. <laughs> Uh, my girlfriend's family, if you get hurt, they can't not laugh. <laughs> like, it could be like, it's like a disease that they have where they're yeah, like, yeah. all right, we're going to laugh. It's kind of like in Big Daddy where he like jumps in front of a car to make his kids stop crying. Like, if I stunt my toes, she's losing it. If the more hurt I am, the more she's laughing at. Yo, me. that's so that's funny. Awesome. Do they ever ask you to do like comedy in front of them? Uh, no, but thank God. Like, I think, <laughs> I think they've seen enough of my online content. <laughs> if you ever have to, though, just, just like hurt yourself. Yeah, Frat yeah. Ball. Run in front of a moving car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that was so fucking funny, dude. He died, but it was hilarious. <laughs> I love like the like if you guys are there for the holidays and you accidentally commit like a faux pas and like upset everyone, you're like, I'll do a front flip off the house. Yeah. Like, All right, I well, just take the knife and stab him. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, back. He's back in. He's back. All in. right, he's fine. He's good. Shunning over. All right. <laughs> Um, also, Danny McBride being in this movie is so funny because really, to see how much he's blown up, like Eastbound and Down is one of my favorite shows. I love Righteous Gemstones. Mm-hmm. And like rewatching this movie the other night, I was like, oh, dude, he has so many good lines in here. You who shitheads, I just found some fireworks in the bathroom. <laughs> Want to set them all? I love how random this film is, too. Like, it's just like interjection after interjection. Yeah, it's very of the time, too, yeah. which is great. It's, but, like, but the it pacing is so good because it's just like boom, boom, boom. Like, yeah. they're doing something, then it gets interrupted by something else. Like, it's just really fast pacing with the joke. So, also, I, I, t- I said this the other night, but I just love the detail of Yorma's character wearing the helmet. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's like holding on to Rod, like, so gently. This is awesome, dude. I wish I had adapt this good with my friends. Uh, this like secret handshake. May ancestors protect me. May, May they protect, protect you. <laughs> I did, like the I love the head the, grip. The I love wrestling. the secondary like his left hand, the shoulder tap. Oh, dude, because yeah. that's just you know he's about to go to war, bro. Yeah, you know he's about to. Also, the detail of making this basement like somewhat unfinished is so nice. Yeah, because it really works with like the when they start fighting and he like breaks through the tackles them through it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, even on mute, it's like really yeah, yeah. funny. <laughs> That's why I, I love hear him saying, like, <laughs> "You never sneak up on a man who's been in a chemical yeah. fight." Like, you can like hear it. You're just like what? Rhodesian fighting. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, yes, Rhodesian. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> My favorite too in this sequence is when he's like, ultimate punch. Yes. <laughs> it's just like his leg is first, like he's not even going to punch him. Oh, I always thought it was a kick that he called ultimate punch to throw the decoy if you think you're going <laughs> to. Yeah, he throws that, Maybe both. that's what I'm missing, dude. Yeah, it's like 3D It's just chat. a left turn, dude. Yeah, yeah. God, the first thing we got you, I saw the, uh, the whitest kid you know was one of your favorite oh, shit. groups ever. Dude, Still got each favorite more rolling trade. What? Did you see this, dude? dude? That's sick. Dude, that's so sick. I'm going to show the camera. This is, this is nuts. Dude. Open up. Oh, what? Hold on. Hold on. There's a lot of CBD pre-rolls in there. <laughs> <laughs> 
We get. Oh, here we go. I should have put it. That would have been. We cool. get face tonight, <laughs> and all those dinosaurs is crashing at my place tonight. That's <laughs> awesome, dude. Dude, thank you so much. Uh, no problem, Appreciate man. you. That's sick, dude. Actually, one of my, not to make this all sad, but this dude passed away recently. Yeah. yeah. And one of my Perfect. friends like rode on a show with him and uh, she said that he was like so cool. And it was like, it was like a kid's show. So it wasn't like anything like yeah. crazy, but she said that he was like the coolest dude. They and were I, awesome. Yeah. I don't think she even realized he was the whitest kids you know guy until way after the fact, but. Do you have a favorite sketch? <sighs> oh, dude. There's so many good ones. The sketch where the guy, where he's like at work and the guy's like writing the drawing of him like watching him have sex with his girlfriend. I don't know if you've seen that. One. <laughs> that so funny, yeah. dude. Yeah, but I think my favorite classics. is the one where uh, they're in line for the punk show, the punk rock show. Have you seen that one? And they just keep being like, "Dude, that's fucking punk rock." <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, dude, were you at the the pig fucker show last week? The cops like busted in while they were tuning up." And it's like, <laughs> "Dude, that's punk. It's so stupid." <laughs> that's I awesome, love that one. Dude. Did you hear about the Nazi pig fucker show last night? No, what happened? The cops came in and broke up the show while they were tuning. Didn't even play one song. Whoa, that's fucking punk, man. It was awesome. Did you hear about the Rape Face show on Thursday? No, what happened? Dude, they played one song, then the singer OD'd and they had to stop. Awesome, man. Punk fucking rock, dude. I also yo, love your local rock. Your mom poster's so random. He's reading Goodnight Moon. I have tried to find that poster <laughs> so, so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I love dad being circled. Yeah, he's yeah. Circled in, yeah, it's like in case he didn't know it was yeah. his dad. <laughs> I love his obsession with the mustache too. That's fucking awesome. Oh man, have great mustache. I know. I I I'm ju- I can't grow a mustache worth shit. Yeah, but you're tall, dude. I think you either got to be tall or you have a or you have facial hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you have both, just go get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Max, what we got for you? Oh shit. Damn, dude. Got, the Tony Soprano it? ball marker? Yeah. With shampoo. This is so on brand. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's amazing. That's crazy. You have that joke about sick Tony well. Soprano, too. Which one? Uh, oh, the one where he's sexually attractive? Yeah. Because <laughs> he's so powerful. Well, yeah, um, it's him and uh, what's the lady's name? Uh, Carmelo. No, no. You, you say it's him and the rapper uh, Missy, is Missy, Missy Elliott. Elliot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that bit where it's like only two people... I was like, Missy Elliott is so powerful that I like, I've always wanted to have sex with her. But every time I've seen her, she's dressed like a middle school PE teacher. <laughs> and it's just power. Like that makes so attractive. And the only other person that shares that because the only person that looks good in a, in a track suit is Tony Soprano. <laughs> Dude, this is such a pivotal scene. Where he's just like, I like the one that says shampoo. And she like throws the phone at him. He's like, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Damn, thank you guys. This is fire. It says with pulp. You like it with pulp? Not this much. I like the one that says some pulp. The fuck was that for? Yeah, dude. Didn't you have a golf blog for a little bit too? I did have a golf blog. Oh, golf shit. after dark at WordPress.com. WordPress. Uh, yeah, bro. Some back in the WordPress out. days. I did not buy the URL. <laughs> That's why the WordPress is in there. <laughs> but yeah, dude, thanks. I, I, uh, did you read any of the articles? <laughs> I, did, I just saw that tidbit okay. and was like, I, yeah. I bring it up, he won't call my bluff. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, it's fun. I mean, yeah. No, Max is the biggest golf fan I know. So I, that, I didn't know that. That's on brand, though. Yeah, that was, yeah thank you. I'm I learning played, things about our friendship through this dude, podcast. I mean, right. I'm literally wearing <laughs> a uh, master shirt right now. Nice. Oh, I heard you got tickets. I did, dude. I got, man, uh, it just, I was in a group chat. My buddy was like, uh, it's a group chat from my buddies from Atlanta, and he was like, hey, guys, one of my friends is giving away practice round tickets if you want one. And I texted, oh, dude, I was just in Atlanta. I don't know if I can go back. And then two minutes later said, no, fuck that. Put me down for two, dog. I'll make it work. And yeah, yeah I'm going uh, to the practice round on Tuesday. I can't wait. That oh, dude, awesome. hell yeah. That's sick. That's very cool. And That's then I'm, so cool. I, I literally am flying in Monday, uh, going to Augusta Tuesday, <laughs> and then flying out to <laughs> L.A. Stupid, Wednesday. Bro. It's going to be insane but you're like telling us about something that's like a lifetime who <laughs> would remember for the rest of your life, like rods in the middle nah, dude, he jumped the pool which is funny because he wouldn't have made it anyways like there's no way yeah there's no it. way that's the funniest part of that scene like the setup is just like so fucking impractical he'd ever make that also where the landing it just goes right to a bush so it wouldn't have ended <laughs> yeah, well either there's like a fence in front of it yeah, yeah, he was yeah. just slammed into a fence yeah that was the best case scenario <laughs> yeah, really yeah. <laughs> Someone pointed out that at not one point in time to this, in the movie does Rod ever successfully complete any stunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's, true. it's so true. Yeah, actually, that's a great point. Well, he rode down those stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe some of the montages. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know if you count that the as a success, stunts. though. 
so this was originally r- written for Will Ferrell. Really? SNL. Wow. They were talking about they had to change a lot of it because a lot of it was like, Sandberg just can't pull off saying like, great Prometheus. <laughs> yeah. like, that's not who he is. Right. I can Ooh. see that a lot though, yeah. That kind of blows my mind. I would honestly like to see a version, like an AI version yeah. of Will Ferrell <laughs> yeah. and Rod. Well, who would the crew be? You'd have yeah. John C. Riley would. Oh, for John sure. Riley. John C. Riley. John C. Riley would be, for sure, be a... Uh, I guess Jorma. Have, yeah, I guess <laughs> yeah. you're being the brother. Step brothers before step brothers. Yeah. Actual oh, brothers. Step brothers yeah, yeah. too. You can keep Kenny Powers in there. Oh, you could definitely yeah, yeah. He's in enough. Yeah, he's just in the, he just he's the same exact character. His <laughs> he's just you just CGI him from this movie into that. <laughs> <laughs> John C. Riley'd be funny. He'd be like, Hey, you gotta uh, right, you're gonna save my dad or what? <laughs> <laughs> on, but it's funny that you said that because now like seeing the dialogue, I could see Will Ferrell doing it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because it like, is like I'm very... gonna do that if you won't fight me. Let's do it right now. One more for the road. Beating me wouldn't mean anything now. I'm all through. All I want is to earn your respect, Frank. How can I do that if you won't fight me? Yeah. I can definitely see him doing this dance montage. Yes, oh, for yeah, for sure. I can hear the saxophone right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Europe playing. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. This is, this is a parody of Footloose, right? Yeah, you there's know? really a scene in Footloose where... Kevin Bacon's character, I can't remember if it's his mom or what, but he gets in an argument with like an adult and he like just drives to an abandoned factory <laughs> and he starts like dancing. And at one point he like runs and like swings off this metal chain across the room. I'm like, oh, this so is that's dangerous. Like, that's like, like, why uh, is he here? So that's like the gymnastics bit. Like, yeah, oh, I see. <laughs> okay. yeah. I there's just like a pommel like vault right there. Yeah, it's just, it's naturally in the tree. <laughs> yeah. I think that's uh, like, this is, I never obviously saw Footloose. So this, it's like, like one of those things like where you see the parody before you actually see see the thing it's referencing like a family guy type of thing yeah (laughs) you know what i mean all the front flips i was glad you identified it because i was just like this has to be an 80s pair yeah yeah yeah. i think i knew when i saw it i was like it's definitely making fun of something yeah but this 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 is crazy bro yeah the fall like is incredible how do they make is he attached (laughs) is he like is there like a wire he's attached to (laughs) i think there's got to be for certain scenes this one's the one where he hits the tree. The he one where he hits, it's got to be a dummy, like, right? <laughs> oh, gee, oh, it's so he bad. Dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just fully lateral flips, He's like whipping around, dude. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I love this too because he's. Uh, uh. And that's how and it's that, done. That's how it's <laughs> done. <laughs> And that is how it's done. Wow. Yeah, just like starting a scene wow. with some random shit like that. It's so fucking <laughs> What? Yeah, I would love to know the precursor. Dude, that's what I, I, I feel like. How much of this movie is improvised versus how much of it is written on paper? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. was that high five bit? I doubt that was written. Yeah, I, they I, were just I think like, the, just do something weird. And where they ring the in. bell and they're like, ah. Like, I'm like, that has to be improvised. That it was. Like, yeah, there's no way they wrote, ah, uh, yeah. in the script. Because <laughs> you can kind of see Danny McBride, he's like, <laughs> like, he, like, looks around. He's like, should I? Yeah, he's like, I'm sure a little bit. <laughs> ah. Bing. Ah. Did y'all ever have a time in y'all's life where y'all were doing stunts or like jackass type things? Yeah. Not to like this degree, but when I first moved to LA, I worked at the Laugh Factory and uh, I, I worked, uh, I did their social media stuff. Oh, I remember this. Do you see any of this? I remember. Dude. You took it over for like a day. What did you do? Yeah. So we had this segment. Someone else had come up with a segment, but he like left the job like right as I got there, but it was called Polling Out, but it was like an Instagram poll and it was like basically like should cut co- and it was always like super loaded questions designed to make me do something horrible. So it would be like, should Kyle chug a whole bottle of sriracha? <laughs> yes. Or should he read a book? <laughs> <laughs> and so obviously everyone says uh, sriracha. And that was like the very first one I did. And I remember like showing up that day and I was like sweat. I was so fucking nervous. And I did, I just chugged a whole goddamn bottle of sriracha on the Laugh Factory stage. And then I had the worst diary of my life <laughs> for like three days in a row. I like worked the full day though. That was how I started the day. I was like, yeah, yeah, we'll start with the sriracha and then we'll just power through. <laughs> yeah, 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 eight no, more hours. It was, yeah, it was a horrible decision. But I was constantly doing shit like that for a while there. <laughs> oh. 
That's which is funny because I expect you to be like, yeah, man, back in middle school, and you're like, yeah, right when I moved out, <laughs> like a full adult yeah, man, f- fully formed prefrontal cortex. I was making these decisions. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of some of your early shows oh, in shit. LA, oh Damn, shit, I didn't know there was this whole. All right, here we go. Here so we go. Fun. Yeah, this is crazy. Man. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, dude, are you serious? This is sick. Dude. <laughs> you see this? Oh Zach my God, Snyder. Zack Snyder, <laughs> your nemesis! This, this is epic. Oh my, my wife is gonna lose it when she sees this, bro. The Snyder shirt stays on when we have sex. Okay, <laughs> that's that's full. No, no so negotiations. There. I remember this is how I met you. Yeah, was you and Shonic were coming to Huntsville to that's do right. uh, a show there, and I was guest hosting it. Yeah, so I didn't know anyone on it. They yeah. they'd asked me last thing. I was like, yeah, sure. So I drove up to Huntsville, and I'm remembering like I'm like. All right, Sean at Gudkindy, Sean at Gudkindy, Sean at Gudkindy. Like, as the host, you don't want to fuck up the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, I like, Sean at goes up first. I'm like, Sean at Gudkindy. I'm like, phew, I nailed that. Oh, good. Now, I, like, smooth sailing the rest <laughs> of the di- time. And I go, all right, up next, Kyle Rell. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's real. And I was like, no. How, it's did, total. I think, how did I get Sean at Gudkindy <laughs> and not Kyle Rell? Honestly, yeah, no, I, I'm totally fine. Like, I'd never even correct people on it anymore because I'm like, honestly, it may, maybe I should just go by Rel. Because like, <laughs> if I tell people my name's real, they're gonna like type in like R E A L, and then they're not gonna find me. So maybe I should just change it to Rel. Honestly, yeah. at this point, but that was Hard. the first thing I found was you. Oh, those first Zach clip. Snyder. Oh, dude, hell yeah, man. <laughs> that that clip is like my peak, bro. Like it's it's gotten me like so much shit, and like I'm so content. I'm like, I know I'll never have a video as good as that, and I'm totally fine with it. What's your name? <laughs> you look annoyed that I asked you that. You were like, you were, I was like, what's your name? He goes, Zach. <laughs> Every time I meet a stranger, they always ask the same fucking question. It's like, hello? How many times do I have to answer this? Just wear a shirt that says Zach on it, dude. <laughs> Oh, we're going to a crowd work show? That sounds like fun. No one better fucking ask me your name. I want them to just call me audience member. I don't want any kind of personal touch to it at all. <laughs> and what do you do for a living, Zach? I'm a movie director. What? Oh, I just blew it. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Uh-oh. Uh, what kind of movies do you direct? Uh... All right, now you're lying. <laughs> Get your story straight, Zach. Like what Zach movie director do? Have you ever heard of? Zach Snyder. That's you... me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone pull up my MVP right now. Let me know how big I just fucked up. Okay. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I could be Robin, right? Right, Zach. 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 <laughs> We need a Robin franchise, but that was a great night. I met so many people that night. I got, a, I met a friend who ended up giving me a job later that night. Yeah. Like it was like one of those really pure, awesome, like moments that just felt so right and like couldn't have been a better as as like shitty as the first impression was. Like like <laughs> what, what I stumbled great. into. Thanks, man. Yeah. But it was like really like a cool way to like meet people because like yeah, people yeah. talked to me after and like I ended up ma- making a friend uh, that night that like we ran a show for like three years together and like so it was yeah it was sick. Well, didn't you take a picture with him too? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. at the end of the video. Yeah, like, yeah. I was gonna say. Oh, I was well, because like I got off stage like even in the moment I was like I don't think this guy's Zack Snyder. Like I think this guy's <laughs> fucking with me, and that's part of the reason why I, like was like so chill about it mm-hmm. because like I was like there's no way there's no way I was like. I don't know, Zack Snyder. And he's like, that's like, I thought he was just like, yes, ending like a yeah. joke. So I kind of moved away from it. But then like, after I got off stage, someone was like, hey, you know, that was really Zack Snyder. Right? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, for sure. There's no way this is him. So then like afterwards, I guess everyone was like rushing to, I blew his cover, which is like, I think why he yeah, was hesitant. Yeah. Oh, God. So everyone was like talking to him after. I was like, hey man, so sorry to bother you. Like, can we get a picture? And he's like, oh dude, of course. Like, yeah. The oh. crowd work is great though. Yeah. Oh, thanks man. He kind of like gave me like a play for, playful shake. Yeah. Like, why did you do that? <laughs> well, it was funny too when you're, you ask him like Zach and he replies back. He's like, 
I'm the only director named. But he says something. Like, how many yeah. directors you know named Zach? Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, that's true. There, that was a good point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it is a good point. And it, I mean, it's you definitely a co- ass. it's a cocky point. Yeah, but he also proved my point because the very first person I thought of was him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know it what I mean. A beautiful flex. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> he, he did it with so few words. You know, yeah. it was what was in between the lines. Yeah, right. much like his films. <laughs> <laughs> He took a, f- a picture with you, and he was like, "Yeah, man, good to meet you." And he's like, "Blackball him from the industry." <laughs> like, dude, I'll really shut your ass down. I know. Dude, I, I've like, I've thought about it's like so hard. I'm like, should I get like a, a Kickstarter campaign going to like cast Kyle and one of the guys, <laughs> or something like that? But somebody told me that uh, was hanging out with uh, Tig Nataro because she she did a movie with him. I, I think it was the Army of the Dead movie. Yeah, she was in. I um, loved that one. Yeah, it was pretty good, but. Um, they said that because they're hanging out with Tig and they said that uh, she was telling them that Zach told her about the thing and then like showed her the clip like while they were on set, which I thought was pretty cool. That's oh, that rad. Yeah, yeah. But I also know for a fact if I ever saw him in person, he would not recognize me. So <laughs> hey, what if he had the shirt on though? Yeah, if I have the shirt what if, on. What if he has a shirt that says real and it's a year <laughs> like that? And it's like, oh! Wait, has he done the pod? <laughs> yeah, did you, did you, did Zach do the pod already? Yeah, you yeah, got him a shirt of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many other comedians you know with the name real? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Yo, that's so funny. Oh, yeah. uh, man. Yeah, this is. Oh, this is so uh, my favorite is when uh, Bill Hader's sister comes, yeah, comes out. out. <laughs> he's I don't like, know, Brainiac. It's your front yard, too. <laughs> <laughs> like while he's drowning his friend. <laughs> but little girl, cherry ups, just my stomach. <laughs> hey, y'all. Mom said there wasn't enough grapes or a mix of cherry. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, fine, Maggie. You put it on the table. Which table? You tell me, Brainiac. It's your front yard, too. Hey, little girl. I don't want cherry. I'm sick to my stomach. I love that he just immediately starts struggling to like five seconds <laughs> like, in. Yeah, like he like blew all of his ear out <laughs> yeah, underwater yeah. or something. I love how authentic the like lower class details too are. Like the above yeah, ground the pool. Oh, yeah. like, it's, it's just yeah. perfect. They the above it. ground pool is so funny. Yeah. The above ground pool in the front yard, which is such a such a choice. Yeah. Did it look like we were making out? <laughs> a little bit. Awesome. I love when he's just like, uh, oh hey Denise, what's up? <laughs> 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 Did it look like we were making out a little bit? Awesome. Are you okay? Oh, hey Denise, what's up? <laughs> it's also just so funny to be like at this stage of your life and like making out is like, dude, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I said this to uh, uh, Kyle the other day, but I was like, I feel like this movie kind of picked up the torch from Wet Hot American Summer, where it's yeah. just like, this movie that at its core is so simple, but there's all these weird, extravagant, absurd, like, little elements to it. Because Wet Hot is one of my favorite movies of all time, too. For sure. It definitely has that, like, total random... Oh, she has a Harvard shirt on, so maybe she's, like, a Harvard student. Ooh, details guy. Ooh, dude, I never noticed that. Speaking of... Ooh. Oh, no! We get you. Oh, <laughs> the oh McK- wait, this McKinley's out! Yeah. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> No, man, so <laughs> oh. Wow, thank you guys so much. This is great. I feel so cool. <laughs> if you look in a lot of... So I have this big framed wet hot poster in my living room. And if you look in my it's bedroom, solid. it's like always kind of peeking in usually. But that's, that was a weird sentence. Up? That was a weird sentence to say. No, no, no. That's <laughs> yeah. they did their research. I said, yes, we've yeah, seen I it. Saw it. <laughs> like I was outside your house. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, oh. Went on American Summer. Check. <laughs> yeah, your living room, right? Right <laughs> yeah. on that, right, that yeah. east wall. Next yes. to where you make with sex. <laughs> <laughs> the setting sun hits it beautifully at four sixteen p.m. Pacific time. <laughs> <laughs> is this the one where he accidentally breaks the glass door? Is that later? He leaves and he slams the door. And he's like, "I'm genuinely sorry about the window." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know what won't make him smile? When I murder him. I'm genuinely sorry about the window. <laughs> That's one too. I'm like, was that planned or was that like? You know what I mean? Did he just <laughs> slam the door so hard that it actually like broke it? If it's not planned, that's like the best improv you could yeah, probably have. Yeah, right? <laughs> Maybe he was being genuine, like he yeah. was talking to the people on set. Oh, here's this is what I'm the, the, the random interlude montage. This is yeah, this is like part of the training. <laughs> and I had no idea this was coming at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, wait. I feel like they shot this and just thought it was really funny. They're like, we gotta sneak it in. We just gotta put it in. <laughs>
Is this him training for later when he's shopping and gets hit, <laughs> hit by the car when he has all the bottles in his... Yeah, maybe it is. It just oh, cuts. yeah. Nice you know what I mean? Go. Yeah, there's like two bits in this movie where he gets hit by a car. Also, I love the Jonathan character, her boyfriend. He's <laughs> so Such a dude. funny, dude. Yeah. I think he might be one of my favorite parts. Same. Yeah. Same. Him, like, for... It, it, Will Arnett, he only shot this movie for two days. What? Which makes sense. Yeah, I mean, he's on wow. too much. But he just steals a lot of the scenes. He does. He does. I, His dialogue is unreal. I think yeah. about the scene where he farts and he's just like, finally. Like, all the, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My favorite line in cinema history is when he says, maybe I'll grab some dong bags. We can knock boots. And get that's, <laughs> that's so amazing. Oh, God. He's like <laughs> so the perfect for that role, too. Like, Oh, yeah. Such perfect casting. <laughs> dong bags. Dong bags. We get a vitamin water. Should I make that dose? <laughs> Just like, yeah. Should I make? <laughs> Have you ever seen anyone do a flaming Dr Pepper? That's what we were saying the other night. Because apparently, there's no Dr Pepper in it. That's there's what, not. No. Oh, is there not? I always no. just assumed it was like Dr Pepper. That no, was like I, alcohol. I can't remember what alcohol it is. But I worked at this like bar in college where we did a bunch of like those wild shots and a flaming Dr Pepper. It's like rum or something, and you like light it on fire, and you drop it into a light beer, and then you immediately chug it. And apparently, it tastes just like a Dr Pepper. Huh. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try that out, dude. Yeah. While I'm here, the- boom! <laughs> There's a flavor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll take three flaming Dr Peppers. Here we go. Oh, speak of Diablo. Bombs away. <laughs> There's a flavor. <laughs> next, next thing we got for you. Oh dang! Oh, the Christmas ornament, the shirtless Christmas Christmas ornament. Oh, it's got two Christmases on there. Wow, this Damn, is nice, bro. Dude. Damn, y'all hit up Vista got, for yeah, this. That's crazy. Going in there. This is fire. All right, so I'll do a quick tour on this. This is still from uh, my music video, Two Christmases. My parents are divorced, so I made this comedy rap song about having two Christmases as a divorced child. That's, it's sick as hell. If your parents are still married, bro, I <laughs> feel bad for you, dude. <laughs> feel bad for you and your emotional stability. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> and then these other three, I did this thing when I first started working out in like 2016 to 2018, where every year on Instagram, I would post a video of me flexing in front of the Christmas tree and I would call it shirtless Christmas <laughs> <laughs> because I was like newly jacked. Like I had never been jacked before. And right. you know, like got to flex on, you got to flex on, on Jesus's birthday. On Jesus' to. birthday. Got to let him know. You got to. now. Here's my question. Did you do this at both your parents' Christmases? <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> ironically, one. Uh, each one of these were taken at uh, my family friend's house. <laughs> like oh, it's so. their family Christmas. And I just like, whip. <laughs> you just I got a quick pump. I had some chin ups, did some push ups, get the pump going, Dude, that's snapped so. a pick and slew. The dad yeah. just like looks at the kid and be like, you got to stop inviting this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why, why is he coming over? That's so funny. Okay. Wait, so is that the same that you crashed the same Christmas consecutive years in a row and did this? Well, I didn't crash. So they're like really good family friends. They're the Jackson family. Such out the Jackson family. But they've been like my like second family growing up. Uh, so like I would always come over on like Christmas so three or Christmas Christmases. Eve and just hang yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, three Christmases, bro. <laughs> Technically, t- well, it's like two and a half. Because <laughs> they're, they're opening presents. They're opening presents. Um, but one of my friend is uh my one of my best friends from high school is Sid Jackson, and he is like his mom will just get him gifts, and he'll be like, "I already have this shirt," and then he'll give it to me. So sometimes I get a bonus present. It's yeah, sick. So it's nice. like kind of like you have a stepbrother that gives you hand me downs. Yeah, it's cool. kind of fire, Loki. It's kind of sick, dude. Yeah, but thank you guys. This is awesome. That's very wow. real. We always ask every podcast, uh, "How'd you find out Santa Claus wasn't real?" Do y'all, do either of y'all Ooh. have a story there? Oh man, that's a great question. I feel like I don't. I don't know if I have a specific moment. Mm. I, I will say my parents gave me coal one year when I was a kid. So fun. That probably didn't help. I think I was like, "Fuck the same guy." <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I, like I, they literally, and it was fucked up too, because like my brothers were both like emptying their stockings out, and I was like, "Okay, cool, can't wait to see what I got." <laughs> and I like turn it upside down. And it was just like, <laughs> just like all this coal falls out. On there's like like a cloud of coal dust. <laughs> And I was like, wait, what? Is this like a joke? Were you a bad boy? Well, that's the thing. My parents, they did not give me a performance review at any point. (laughs) (laughs) There was no check-in like, hey, dude, we really want to see you improve in these areas. I didn't find out until Christmas Day. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm a piece of shit. (laughs) Dang, bro. Totally, totally, totally. You know, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So I think even if I think I hated Santa that I think I believed in him more because I was like, this guy hates me. 
Yeah, dude, Santa, Santa became the ops that year. That's yeah. You're like, look at you. Like, Y'all studied for the final? Like, yeah. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. I can't believe you didn't tell me we were having the test. Yeah, dude. Every time I go to a mall and I see a Santa there, I just like lock eyes with them. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> One time, this, this amazingly was not when I found out he like wasn't real, but I was in like probably second grade, maybe like first grade. And I remember doing like a big Christmas Eve thing at my aunt's house. And I went into my aunt and uncle's like master bathroom to use the bathroom because like the other two bathrooms were being used. And I like kind of peeked like I saw under the bed coming out of the bathroom because they had one of those like super high beds that there was like a bunch of presents under. And I like looked and one of the presents said like, you know, to so-and-so from Santa. And my initial thought was, whoa, he came early. <laughs> I was like, dude, this guy's secret Santa stash. can like set. I was like, and what's funny was it made me believe in him more because I was like, he doesn't do it all in one night. He comes like over the month and then you just have him. Like <laughs> that's how he does it. Like it made it more logistical. You know? <laughs> that's so funny. Max is like, yeah, I still believe in Santa. I don't know. What you guys wait, I'm like, <laughs> wait, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Kyle? <laughs> I thought you were going to say when my parents got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> well, then there was like a competing like, dude, Santa. Yeah, I noticed Santa started showing up way more at one house. I was like, what, <laughs> what is this? Yeah, Santa just loves dad more, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> dad so much better every year. <laughs> This is my favorite. <laughs> why, what just, the, why would you ever set your? I love the hoops fire? in the background. Is he fire? jumping through the hoops? Is that I what think he was jumping through the hoops and he got caught on <laughs> and fire. He pours like a jug of punch on himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely covered in like gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, this God. one. How this is this like great. a stunt that's entertaining? This is like a Houdini trick. <laughs> just traumatizing all these kids. <laughs> Rico's got a gun on all all times, just yeah, in the dude. back pocket. Also, the Wolf American flag shirt is so crazy. Get the fuck off my porch. <laughs> <laughs> you get one F word in a PG-13. That's true. They used it well, I think. They did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. He actually, he actually really painted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what he did during, on set all the time. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we'll use this as a gag in there. <laughs> I love that she's better at the like motorbike than he is, or the moped or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all my moves. <laughs> I love that it never comes back to like she never rides the bike again. Yeah. yeah. Also, this scene when he <laughs> runs up. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> and the Heelys. That's yeah, the amazing. Heelys yeah. Classic, bro. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love that uh, he just bullies him like throughout the whole movie, just the like throwing him into the van and stuff. All the stuntmen. They gave him fake, like, bigger noses <laughs> to, look to like make him look like uh, uh, Andy Samberg, but uh, Akiva and Jorma, like, to fuck with Samberg, made him, like, even bigger than they should have been. <laughs> so, like, Samberg was seeing it being like, is my nose really that big? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I love the commitment to, like, the behind the scenes bit. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I love that. That's great. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. All right. We got a Dogecoin here, y'all. <laughs> yeah, dude. Repping, repping my my assets over here, dude. <laughs> yeah. Bro, my go. financial assets, dude. It is, it is popping off again right now. Dude, I, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. What made you do that? Oh, desperation. For sure. <laughs> desperation for sure. That that was, was that 2021? Yeah. I, uh, I was just working part time. I was making probably like $25,000 a year. And I was working like the night shift at this place. And I just, like, whatever reason, the first time I ever saw Dogecoin, I was, like, trending on Twitter that night. And I was like, what is this? And so I started to do some research. And I was like, fuck it. I'll buy some. And I bought it when it was, like, less than two cents. So, like, I got, like, a crazy deal on it. So when it actually, like, blew up, I was like, oh, fuck. This is actually a lot of money yeah, yeah, for, yeah. like, how little money I put into this. <laughs> and then I was just trying to get everyone else to buy it to just get the price up. Yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah, I remember you were pushing it I was it pushing it pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I kept being like, it's the future, bro. I, yeah, I kept being like, like, I would be like, wait, is this thing for real? And I'd be on social media and you'd be like, to the moon. I'd be like, oh, damn. Yeah. Like, all right. Now let me look yeah, yeah. It. But it's, like, more desperate than it. It's like, to the moon, please, yeah, please. Yeah. please. Yeah. I need Dude, this. me and Kyle, like, weren't even, we were, like, buds, but we weren't, like, as close back then. But I would see him tweeting all the time. So I bought it. And, like, <laughs> I got yes. in later than him, but I yeah. still made, like, a good, like, I think I made, like, it wasn't anything crazy. It was, like, 1500 bucks, but I spent, like, $200. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, this was fun. Yeah, dude. I, I'm, like, a financial advisor now, I think. Straight up. <laughs> I think I qualify. 
Actually, my wife made a portrait of the little Doge guy oh, we have nice. hanging in our home. But uh, yeah, I'm still hanging on to a little bit. I had to sell some of it because I lost, I lost my car key and I had to buy a new oh, one. Dude, and I was like, expensive. Ah, fuck it. I got to sell fob? some Dogecoin. <laughs> it was Let a me fob. reach into my stocks. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let me contact my accountants and uh, make some moves. No, yeah. it, daddy. But no, I'm still hanging on, dude. It's it's getting up there again. It might get yeah. it might get back up. We'll see. All right, Mac. Oh shit. Whoa. That's a whole Oh, oh dude, this is Damn bro. Classic. Dang. That's awesome. Easy Mac. My Mac. My That's Mac on vinyl? Easy. I can't believe they put this on vinyl. This is so funny. Damn, bro. That's wow. it. Wow. This is fire. This is like uh listeners, this is Mac Miller's like his first mix <laughs> tape back when he was known as Easy yeah. Mac. Easy Mac with the cheesy raps. Uh, <laughs> big fan of Mac Miller, dude. I felt like I there's that line from Zoolander where uh, Will Ferrell's character Jaco Bim Mugatu is like, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, <laughs> and like that was me with Mac Miller because like we I was like in college and like Mac Miller put out um like he had his earlier stuff and then he put out watching movies with the sound off, which just like genuinely is such a good album. It's so introspective, and then Faces, and then like Live from Space, and then D- Good Am, Divine Feminine, and every time a new Mac Miller album would come out, I would be like, "Did you guys? Did you guys listen to this? It's so good and like <laughs> emotional and like sad, and I'm sad, and it is so good." And people were like, "No, nah, I remember Kids though," and I was like, "You have to, you have to listen to him." <laughs> um, but yeah, he's he's great. I love him so much. I still put out a little tweet every year on the, on the anniversary of his death, dude. dude. But I have like a my friend cat uh shots like Burnett got me this really cool like painting of him that i have in my house um up on I my know, wall i saw that too no i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah. oh this one it's like you put, it's got like drywall on it <laughs> dude thank you this is so fun wow I'm giving him it. gifts from his own house yeah, yeah. <laughs> i didn't even know they put this on vinyl this is crazy it might be a bootleg but you know it feels real would you like your remote batteries back man <laughs> <laughs> just so specific like that's what you take <laughs> wow that's awesome thanks guys no problem i mean i just you know all the comedy music stuff you do yeah whatever yeah. i saw you're talking about it. i figured that had to be an influence oh for you. oh yeah big Huge. time i mean these guys too like yeah comedy music is fun because that was like my first foray into doing comedy i had a buddy blake campbell shout out blake campbell in high school he was like one of my best friends and we started making like little comedy parody raps and this was like 2009 we started doing this and uh, it's really funny to see how I went from that into like like more serious music and then started doing comedy and then started doing sketch comedy. And then now I'm back doing like comedy music again because it mm-hmm. it's kind of like a full circle thing. But yeah, yeah. Mac Miller is a huge influence on me because he was born like three weeks before me. So whenever he was like blowing up, I was like, dude, it's almost like I'm blowing up, dude. <laughs> when Mac Miller blew up, every suburban white boy was like, dude, we made it. Dude. <laughs> Finally, at long last, dude, we made it. Yeah, yeah, like there is hope for me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'll still hit a quick haha, bro. If I'm just alone at the crib in the morning, you know, making coffee, haha. <laughs> feels good. Just let What's it your out. favorite Mac Miller song? If you had to pick one? My favorite Mac Miller song is the, uh, it's called Earth featuring Future, but it's from Live from Space, which is this live album he did with the internet. And then Earth was like this just second deep cut from that album. But I love it. It's a fun, bouncy kind of like, you know, uh, rap. But I love it because in the intro to that song, he's just like, I love recording at my house because when I walk in, the mic is just at like the perfect height for me. <laughs> he just, That's so funny. Yeah, that one's super good. I love that one. I didn't know I was going to get bestowed upon. I would have brought baked goods or something. This is so nice. I know. I feel like we owe you guys some gifts now, dude. We'll, nah, we'll yeah. have you You're guys. You're giving us your time. No, no. Wait, wait, when the we... gift of laughter. <laughs> yeah. Aww. I think me and Max will just steal your guys' concept for a podcast and then we'll have you on as guests. Oh, that'd be great. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> well, also, are you guys, do you guys want to come to the show tomorrow? Like, we'd love to. We're actually heading back tomorrow morning. Oh. Yeah, sorry. We were, we were like. With it being Easter weekend, we had, had to compromise uh, with our yeah. mom. She's For like, sure. yeah. she's real weird about Easter. It's like, nah, it's a South her. Man. Yeah, no, she yeah. wears like a hat. Like a, she looks, like, <laughs> oh, she's man. Like a hat. she looks like she's going to the Kentucky oh, Derby. That's so like, funny. She's like, you guys have to be here to look at my hat. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I think she likes Easter more than her birthday. She's like, <laughs> if my boys aren't in church with me, it's just not Easter. So it's like, oh my god, Easter's kind of like Jesus's second birthday, right? Because he like he has. Christmas. Yeah, that's when he pulled it's a better holiday for him because he's not like dying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. 
It'd be funny to celebrate when he died. Like, yeah, yeah good Friday. We're fucking going up. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, guys, whoa. Uh, RPGs. I love whenever, up, every few years it lines up and the entire the South is in retrograde when Easter's falls on Master Sunday also. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you're just like, oh like, my God. What do God, I do? Bro. What do I do? <laughs> like, I remember going over to my aunt's house after church and throwing the Masters on and just being like, this is it. We've made it. This is, <laughs> this is our Olympics, baby. <laughs> wow. That's fun. All right, cool. I was going to say comp tickets, but pff, bro. Uh, <laughs> we'll make it up to you. Soon. Yeah, we'll. we'll but yeah, thank I'll, you guys so I'll, much. I'll it's been s- so fun. Yeah, I'll send you guys uh, some obscure ass gifts Cal. based off your. Oh, shit. I got you a, oh, an album. Damn. That's very important to you, I think. No. <laughs> the Andre 3000 flute. Oh, that's so <laughs> sick. Uh, dude, I cannot wait to meditate to this. <laughs> dude, that's so funny. I love this because. It just shows that, like, if you're successful enough, you can just be like, oh, yeah, I play the flute now. <laughs> I, and they're like, yeah, oh, really? Yeah, like, here's a record do. deal like, for that. What notes, what note is this? I've got no fucking idea. <laughs> I'm just kind of doing them all. No, this is sick, dude. Three stacks of the recorder. <laughs> also, I didn't know this was, the, yeah, I didn't know that, yeah, the recorder, that'd be so <laughs> funny. Just the most irritating instrument. <laughs> I didn't realize this was the album cover. It kind of, kind of a little phallic, you know? It's a little, a little, kind of looks like a dick oh. a little bit. Looks like face. he's playing a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is sick, dude. Thank you so much. I, I met Andre 3000 once. Did you really? Yeah, bro. It was crazy. So I was at this Thai restaurant in Hollywood. It's called Jitlada. It's so good. Oh, I've been there. I just went there last Dude, week. Guy Fieri's been there on Triple D. But <laughs> so I, I'll go there every now and then. I was there with my buddy Nishima. Uh, who's one of my good friends? Shout out Nishima. Give the shout outs on your platform. Thank you so much. And <laughs> we were there and we were, we, it was the first time we'd hung out in a while. And she is kind of like, I was like, how's it been, dude? And she's like, honestly, like, not so good, man. Like, I'm going through a lot. And I went, shut your mouth. Andre 3000 is about to walk in this restaurant. <laughs> and Andre, Andre, he comes in and he, he's wearing like green overalls, like bright yellow shoes. Uh, that's what you want. And uh, he yeah. comes in and he like goes up to the counter and he walks. And as he's walking by, I'm like, Hey, Andre, I, we're big fans. We, we're from Atlanta. And he was like, oh, my God, y'all are from Atlanta? And he, like, shook our hand and introduced himself to us. And we were like, ah! That's so cool. And then he went outside, and the owner of the restaurant um, came out and was, like, chatting with him. And we went out and asked him for a photo. He was super nice. He talked to us for a little bit. And then when he just, like, walked off into the Los Angeles night. And I was talking to the owner of the restaurant. And she was like, that's my friend Andre. And I was like, <laughs> oh, he's your, he's your buddy? And she explained to us that, like, he was in town working on someone's album or something. And he was staying at a hotel up the street off of a sunset and like he just came in the first night he was in town to get food and he loved the food so much he came in like four times that week and the lady didn't know who he was and she was like oh like let me take a photo and post it on the facebook because you're my new friend and so she posted on her facebook something like this is my new friend andre he's new to los angeles i wish him the best of luck <laughs> and she said people blew up her facebook and were like do you know who this is that's and uh, so I later found out that he wasn't even there to get food. He just stopped by to say hi to her because they're like, but he's yeah, total oh, sweetheart. Yeah, he seems like a really cool guy. Awesome. I also love that he's just like fully peacocking in public. Like he's oh, yeah, like dude. fully wearing like what you would expect him. Yeah, to. Yeah, he's not yeah. trying to blend in. He's no. just like, no, I'm Andre 3000. I'm wearing yeah. the green overalls and the yellow. Pants, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the yellow this shoes. is me. This is me. Yeah. yeah. I would do it too, though, honestly. You gotta get those fat discounts, dude. You have yeah. to. Except, I guess the Jitlada person did not recognize no. them. So they were like, full price, Mr. Stash. <laughs> 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 yeah, hey, y'all, and 20% tip. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, what is you guys' favorite part of this movie? Just Chris Parnell, his whole part. Yeah. I was telling him oh, that's okay. my favorite part because his voice is so funny yeah. too. I like to imagine that he spent the last night having sex, <laughs> and there's a little piece of leftover blocking his urethra, creating two streams. Yeah, <laughs> two streams and I love too, like when it like pans up, and he's like, "And you'll notice there's an AM radio safely up <laughs> yeah, here." Yeah, <laughs> so detailed. It's of this rebellious young man, and he's urinating on an FM radio, and then this other stream of urine is going on to that television set. Implausible, I know, but I like to imagine that he had sex the night before, and now a little bit of residue is blocking his urethra, allowing the urine to flow in two separate directions. You may also note that an AM radio is sitting safely dry in the middle. It's all magic carpet there. Oh yeah, look at that.
I love too that like when he's like announcing it, he's like, "Oh, you gotta see this to believe it." Don't let me see to believe. It's just like the worst way to to broadcast the stuff. I think my favorite part is when they're walking down the street and they're like, "We're not gonna see it," yeah. oh, oh, and then everybody starts singing it and then just breaks out into a riot. Yeah. And then it cuts and they're like, "Man, it's just really sad how some people just take advantage of it." And he's like holding a TV. Yeah. And Danny McBride's like, "Yeah, it was cr- all we could do was just leave. We couldn't do any. There was no all time. All we could do was just leave and just hope you're not hurt." <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that because of us i don't know i mean it started off super positive then it just got crazy i did not like that at all no kev none of us did yeah it was totally messed up it's, it's disgusting how people will just you know take something good and just take advantage of a situation yeah there was no time to do yeah. anything so just leave and just hope that you're not hurt. I just realized this. The first shot, he's not holding a TV. So it's just like a cartoonish, like all of a sudden a TV <laughs> appears out of nowhere. Like he doesn't even have the TV in the first shot. That's so funny. <laughs> it's also like the shittiest TV. Yeah, it's 2007. Yeah. And, uh, you could get a flat screen. <laughs> yeah, it's like a VHS TV. It's like like, a, it's not even, it feels like it looks like, like what you'd have in your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like on road trips or whatever. This is me practicing my yeah. stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's actually so funny, bro. You should do like a clip where you're like doing, doing crowd, crowd work, work. Yeah. with a stuffed animal. <laughs> <I'm> a stuffed <laughs> animals. <laughs> that's actually such a funny idea. Holy shit. How long you two been together? <laughs> <laughs> this was definitely probably my favorite scene the first time I watched the movie, though. Oh, yeah, dude. A little Cool Beans yeah. rendition. Because, like, yeah, I, I, I really can't think of another movie that does anything like this, like, where they just interject, like, a song in the middle of the thing with, like, based off the dialogue like this, mm-hmm. you know? No, that, I think... Very unique. Did you ever see uh, Baby Driver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. kind of do that a little bit, do where they? he makes song, he makes songs based off what everyone's talking, but it's not like... Uh, this is, like, a reality, like... Yeah. I don't know, right. like... Yeah, yeah. There's something different going on here. Beep, 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 Beans, beans, cool. Beans! <laughs> the first time I saw it, I remember sitting in the theater and just realizing I was being eased into it and just like, this is, we were just losing our mind. Yeah. So good. How many times did we go see it? I saw it three times. Yeah. I mean, I was, oh, wow. same thing. I was like middle school. So this movie yeah, yeah. was like everything to me at that Dude, time. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Fuck yeah. He went and got me and was like, you got to go watch this. Like, yeah, this <laughs> is, so like me and his buddy went and watched it. And I remember leaving being like, I got to find a friend to go watch this. <laughs> it's like, like it follows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, now you go find some friends and you bring them to the movie. All you got to do is get 10 friends, <laughs> write them down. It's like a bringer show, yeah. but for a movie. Dude, bringer movie is so The no, bringer movie is actually you put a movie. Hey, bring five friends and then you could be in the movie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a great, you know how many people in LA would do it? Dude, it was oh, so many people in LA would do it. <laughs> well, Kyle, to make up for that last gift. <laughs> Man. Dude, no, this is too much, bro. Oh, my is God. Is that a <laughs> jump? To, is this a to conclusions, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Oh my god, dude, that's actually one of my other favorite movies. I we, I literally just watched that the other day too. That's so oh, funny. Dude, this is so lit. I cannot wait to apply this. <laughs> Next time, me and my wife get in a fight, I'll be like, "Okay, so you jumped to a conclusion right there. <laughs> Let's see which one you jumped to." No, this is so funny, dude. Hell yeah, this is actually very. This is like a this bath. Is the bath mat? Mat? It's like a shower mat. Uh, I, I don't I know. know. <laughs> I could. I, we could totally use it as one. Dude. I feel like it is. Or Jump just again. A doormat. That's amazing, dude. Yeah, that that's another great movie. I love when he explains it, and then he's like, "This is the worst idea I've ever heard." He's <laughs> like, "Yes, it is a terrible idea. <laughs> this is a terrible idea." That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life, Tom. Yes, yes, it's horrible. This idea. Wait, how did you know I liked that movie too? Or is that just a total get? Did you jump? No, to we, did, we did some research. You did some yeah, research. Yeah, yeah. How did you just? Yeah, I was going, I in your house going through something? your DVD yeah, collection. Well, <laughs> well, don't you remember in the Zack Snyder clip? You're like, you're Zack Snyder, dude. I love Office Space, 1999. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ron yeah, Living. Forgot about that. Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> Yeah. I yeah. think you tweeted it, though. You did. I probably, Office Space is the best movie of all time. Damn. What's the date when on When did that? I tweet I don't. I just took it from there. Nice. nice um, also, yeah, man, this is hilarious. Uh, I was all nervous to sneak Burger King into the movies like I ain't snuck hella drugs into music festivals. <laughs> 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 oh no uh, what's the wildest thing you've ever snuck into a movie theater uh i one time uh i went to see skyfall 
uh, James Bond, Skyfall. I think it was like 2011, 2012. I literally snuck in not just one, but two full bags of Whataburger for me and my friends. <laughs> and we went to a late showing uh, and we were stoked because we had both Whataburgers and honey butter chicken biscuits. Oh, but I just happened okay. to have this big like coat on and I just like walked right in. <laughs> and I remember uh, the burger, that Burger King thing. I don't re- exactly remember when I did that, but it's also hilarious uh, because this Whataburger one, I remember being so nervous Forgetting that the people that work at movie theaters at 11.30 p.m. on like a Wednesday are just like, yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We really don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's, That's so a fun funny. tweet. I saw American Sniper with this girl that I used to date and her family. And we they, they, they snuck in like a full meal from this Chinese restaurant. <laughs> and we had like lo mein and general style's chicken and like fried rice, like miso soup. We we're just like cracking it open while like this guy's like killing people on the screen. It was nuts. I was like, I, it wasn't my idea, but I was like, okay, you really can like bring whatever the fuck you want. And he's like, no one's going to give a shit. Multiple courses in the movie theater is such a power yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of Bond, last oh thing we got God. you. Oh, oh Gold Knight orchestrated. Dang. Some of the Dude. music in this game, I, I'll never forget. I think it's the like frigate, the boat one, but it's like and it's like uh, yeah, so I when I posted that GoldenEye TikTok, I actually uh, linked up. I didn't link up in person. Linked up electronically with Grant Kirkhope, who's the composer oh, that shit. did all the all the rare game stuff. He did like the DK rap from Donkey Kong sixty four. Dude, that's oh. so um, cool. okay. Yeah, Donkey Kong is Donkey dead. Kong. <laughs> yeah. That guy's a legend. Bro. <laughs> Got all the hits, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's on, super dude. nice. He like. He like replied and he was like, this is so funny. Like, I'm glad it, you know, and I literally replied. I was like, dude, I don't know if you realize like how impactful your music (laughs) is because there's just now a whole generation of people that like the music from those games is just, it unlocks like this thing in your brain. I always thought the GoldenEye pause music was hidden. Even when I was like a kid, I remember pausing because I've always loved hip hop. I remember pausing and being like, this is insane. This is so <laughs> fire. And you're like, for, I don't even want to play the game. I just yeah. want to have it on pause. Because well, well, it was cool because you would like, like go into the watch. It's like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Like, why is this? Because the game, bing, 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 the other, bing, yeah. Bing, 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 yeah, the other, and then the fucking <laughs> boom, like noise. The other music in the game is great, but it sounds very video gamey. And for some reason, yeah. this just like, and so I would always bring that up to people like in conversation and people never really seemed to know what I was talking about. And like 2013, when I had like a SoundCloud and I was putting out like comedy raps and stuff, I did a rap to that beat. Oh shit. Um, about me being James Bond, uh, which was great. And then, but like still like people were still like not. And so when I actually filmed the GoldenEye video, I was like, I was like, should I post this? Like no one my whole life has known what I'm talking about. And somehow it just awakened like a chap, like a, this, this repressed memory. Everyone forgot they had. Yeah. Hey, just wanted to see how that pause music was coming along. Now keep in mind, this is a movie tie in video game from the Nintendo 64. Not looking for anything too crazy. What do you think about this? Even to this day, that video will get taken and like reposted by like big accounts. And Grant Kirkhope will always be like, I'm so glad. And I'll always like tag him. And it's always like fun running into him in the comments. Gonna be like, yeah. Grant, what's up, man? Like, dude, yeah, you guys this should is cool. collab though. That'd be I sick. would love that. Yeah, we should. Thank you guys so much. This is yeah, sick as you hell. Guys are, you guys are sweetie pies over here. Oh, this is so fire. Yeah. Wow. What dude, I remember watching the Lakers uh, in the playoffs last year and they were like losing and it was like they're about to be eliminated. And they started playing that song. And like the first thing I did, I was like, I texted Max. I was like, dude, oh, they're playing so- your song right now. <laughs> I feel like you brought that song back. Because they, start, yeah. they started playing that. Because I watched Lakers games. They started playing that like after you posted your TikTok. Yeah. I'm convinced that LeBron saw your TikTok and was like, all right, Jeannie, come in here. We got to start fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeannie Bus. Yeah, dude, yeah. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where that song like, and there's been a bunch of people that have made like TikToks like, like inspired by like, you know. But I, I definitely am like, yeah, for sure. I, I definitely take credit for reintroducing that to the zeitgeist. It's nuts. Wow. This is so cool. I can't yeah, you guys, this is, I'll say it. This is the best podcast I've ever done. Oh, yeah. man. You guys yeah. are great hosts.
Well, we got another two and a half hours. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, dude. You're not going anywhere. Just wait anywhere, till hour buddy. three. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're gonna be changing your tune by the. We have some other old tweets we found, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> little racist. <laughs> I did find out through your tweet. Y'all both hate Jurassic Park movies. I hate the Do newer I? ones. Yeah, yeah the newer yeah. ones. Uh, yeah, 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 I found like multiple tweets where both of y'all were shitting on them. I was like, that's hilarious. I wonder if they know that they each hate. Dude, this is so funny because I've definitely had like anxiety attacks where I'm like, what if there's someone out there who's just digging through all my tweets trying to find some? And then you're literally doing, but you're doing like the nice version yeah. of it. Well, I got to say, I cracked up. I, it was like 2014. Max, you tweeted, man, Chadwick Boseman needs to be in every movie from now on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. So I just saw it. Was like, ooh. <laughs> Wait, what was that? In, what movie was that? In Sorry, Max. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bad news. But yeah. You can just comment. I have bad news. It is funny, like <laughs> yeah. future, present me, like wanting to talk to that version of you. Yeah. Like, oh, 2012, Max. Sorry, boss. So yeah. Not a good dream for you to have. It's like, hey, we got good news and bad news. 2012, Max. Yeah. Uh, but I think I saw 42, the Jackie Robinson movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was just like, who is this guy? He's so good. Yeah, yeah that's hilarious. Yeah. There's so many. It's funny that you said that because in like 2020 or 2021, I like literally scrolled back through every tweet and just like made sure there was nothing bad. <laughs> and there wasn't. There wasn't. Okay. <laughs> but I was just like, I was like, I'm a, I'm not going to, I ain't going to get caught slipping, bro. Let me. And there wasn't. So, but that's yeah, hilarious. I that taking fuzz on ever. It took a while, you can but I mean, <laughs> you can <try. laughs> yeah, you can search I keywords, I never but I also scrolled. Word. I also scrolled. I didn't type it, dude. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys for taking time to do the pod. We really appreciate of it. Of course, dude. Anytime. Do you want to plug, plug anything? Um, Where can we find you? Yeah, just, yeah, TikTok, Instagram, at Kyle Real, K-Y-L-E-R-E-H-L. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let them know. Uh, I have a show in Los Angeles uh, every other Sunday. It's called Vino Underground. Check that out. It's super chill. It's at a wine bar. Uh, I think that's that's all I have to plug. Dude, at Big Time Maga, B I G T I M E M A C A on all platforms. I'm working on my debut comedy rap album. That'll be out, the Big Time album. Uh, I got music videos <laughs> coming soon. And buy some merch, dude, because I have merch and people are like, I would love to buy it. And then they don't. So buy some merch, bigtimemacca.com. I got merch on there. Hit buy it his merch, goddammit. Buy his buy my merch. And then maybe I'll give some of the money to Kyle. We'll see. No, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and plug Max's stuff on yeah. <laughs> we'll edit it. If you could buy Max's merch. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much, guys. This is yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, this is great. This wow. is like before so we leave, great. I'm just curious which New Jurassic Park movie did like where you just completely uh, out oh, on. Dude, I don't even the remember. One? They're all they all kind of blur together in like one kind of like shitty fucking stream of consciousness. Chris Pratt with his shirt off, blob. Yeah, I don't. I, I can't even remember to be honest with you. Well, here's the thing. Okay, so for me it was Jurassic World because the second one with Jeff Goldblum I still love. You know, even the third one is a little wonky, but it still felt like actually scary. And maybe I was just a kid, but I remember like. The first one being solid, the second one being good, and the third one being okay. But by the time Jurassic World came out, it was just the most like contrived, like like uh, what's her name, Bryce Dallas Howard. She's like, oh, I'm too busy to be an aunt. I'm a businesswoman. Oh yeah. And then yeah. and whenever she goes to meet up with Chris Pratt, he's like got his shirt open, working on a motorcycle by a lake, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, didn't expect to see you here, dude. And it's like literally the scene in Hot Rod where he's like hitting the engine yeah. with the hammer. <laughs> yeah, it's that. Nice. Oh, yeah. it's the same shit. I, I was stole just, it. I remember seeing it in theaters and. Uh, I, I was like dating this girl at the time and she had really liked it. And I remember seeing it in theaters just being like, we're going to get in a fight about this. <laughs> like, I'm never going to marry you. <laughs> I like, already know this is this movie anywhere. is This movie was bad. Like, how did you think it was good? But for yeah. me, it was Jurassic World. Yeah, the OGs are good. I, I have yeah. no problem with the OG. With I love uh, the Jeff, uh, Jeff Goldblum one because it's so funny that Jeff Goldblum is like, trying to play this man whose life is in danger from dinosaurs. He's just like, oh, no, there's, <laughs> oh, no, several, several chill. large dinosaurs. Uh, we've, uh, we've got to, we've got to escape somehow. I'm like, how did they pick him for this? This is crazy to yeah. me. <laughs> oh, no. Velociraptors. <laughs> oh, man. They're very smart. I do this for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> Oh, there's that one that can spit at you. Nasty. <laughs> In that movie, he's so funny. I had the I had hella Jurassic Park toys growing up. I had the T Rex with the hollowed out like inner bodies that could actually eat people. Dude, <laughs> I was actually falling, bro. That's really cool. 
Yeah. <laughs> you, as a kid, you're like, I'm so powerful now. <laughs> I was. I could eat someone with I my dinosaur. I pulled up the show and tell with that. I was like, Annie can eat people. And the class was like, <gasps> and, I, and then I like, I like produced like an active figure. I was like, mm, and I like made him eat it. And I was like, <laughs> exhibit Have you not been entertained? Are you not entertained? Uh, Kyle, one of your tweets that cracked me up. I'm glad there's no gambling sites for betting on how you think the movie ends because it would ruin my life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's really funny, actually. That's fine. on stage. I totally forgot about that. Dude, I was sitting there being like, well, guess what I invented? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, for real. Partnered with a bookie. And like, we're just like having live lines, doing <laughs> premieres oh, and dude, stuff. That's so funny. It's like the premiere of Does the movie. Does she die? Yes or no? Dude, I got like, like a three character parlay going, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I would lose so much money. My wife hates it. I always do that. It's like 10 minutes into the movie. I'm like, he's going to die at the end. <laughs> She's like, I don't think so. Dude, yeah, my girlfriend is the same. She's so good at that. There's like a really early episode of The Sopranos where like the big shocking reveal like near the end of the episode is like their soccer coach was like having an inappropriate sexual relationship with one of the high schoolers. And literally the opening credits were still on screen and the coach is like, come on. And then my, my girlfriend goes, oh, he's like, he's sleeping with that girl. And I was like, oh my God, how did you, I didn't figure this out at all. Like, <laughs> so good at it. It's crazy. <laughs> I love this part. Yeah, the thumbs zoom out. up. It's going also, great. Like, why did he let go of the bike? I love that it's just never explained why, <laughs> he, why he let go of it completely. Yeah. <laughs> also, this is such a gnarly scene, dude. Like that bike, yeah. ball, like th getting thrown into the amps, and then the. Th I wonder how they filmed that. Do they like just have a guy throw a bike or like? Did Look they at that. Actually... Like, that part is like so gnarly. Like when he lands, like oh god, he's so lifeless. I love that line Chris Parnell has where he's like, I hope no one in Rod's friend group had a fight with him because he is more than likely dead. <laughs> oh, and then the best part is when he wakes up from the dream sequence and he's like, Hoobastank. Hoobastank. <laughs> it's like the most random band name from 2004. We also talked about dressing up as a uh, grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, in a taco? Oh, uh, dude. Fighting. That would have been awesome. Yeah. You guys would have had to fight them. We could we couldn't have found we couldn't find a grilled cheese costume. Yeah, the grilled cheese. You we were talking about that yeah. too. We were like, it's such a specific costume to have made had to for this one for scene. Sure. <laughs> yeah, this is probably where like most of the budget went. It's like <laughs> the stunts and that specific. Grilled cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>